I was brought up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. don't, you, don't you start up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What's on your mind today? Aliens. What? I'm talking about aliens today. Aliens. So. You know aliens, bro. No, actually, I don't. So that's the that's that's gonna be the kicker here when we get around to it. The oh. thing is, I I actually I think people I don't think people really think about what it would be like if aliens were here. Right. Okay. Like so, let's get up. Like, I'm, we'll get there though. What do you think about? What do you do? You believe in them? Do you believe that aliens? How about this? There's a couple different ways. Do you believe that aliens are in those weird crafts that we see? Because those are real. We see them. Honestly, bro, I think I think I think aliens are closer to us than we know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you believe in them? Yeah. Most okay. Of, like the movies, they paint this little ugly creature. You know what I'm saying? Like they look like us, probably. Probably, bro. I, I, yeah. I, I like. So. It's the only way I see it. Let me let me throw this one at you. All right. Okay, we were just talking about this actually before you walked in. It was it's part and parcel to it. Do you really think, do you feel like you belong here and our home is Earth? Do you, do, you, do you really think that human beings, is it not strange that, do you feel like you're a part of the animal kingdom? Yeah. Really? Think about the next closest thing to you. A chimpanzee? Like, there's nothing that comes close to you and a chimpanzee, dude. <laughs> like, barred up and scarred up, the thing would just be like... <laughs> Okay, so like, so, 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 you know, there's some big differences. Right. It's almost as if we came from somewhere else. Right, right. And that's, so, so there's a lot of interesting stuff about this, okay? This is all my, this is my religion, by right, the way, right? So it's like, there's, it's an interesting concept. It's like, we live in square houses, like, everything, we have to live in a little square box. Oh, we can't go outside when it's too hot. We got to put on stuff on our face. It's like, I don't see any animals doing that. They survive. Like what? Like we're we are not really suited to naturally evolve and live here like that. Right. Think about this. Yeah. So 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 like we live in square boxes. You ever seen a square in nature out there? Like no. You ever seen a pyramid in nature? Mm, I think I think you could look at it a few ways though. Poof. I think yeah. you, I think you, I think that I'm just way, saying it's an interesting question. It is. It yeah. is. And I think that way is kind of one-sided. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's crazy. We always have this conversation and we always come back to things um, evolving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think I think so so for me, I actually like the idea of this, so the, let me give you the theory here. Right. The, 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 the general theory is that history goes, goes beyond the, uh, the Judeo-Christian time right, frame right, from, right. it's not just since Christ was born. Yeah, BC, yes. Like it's yeah. not even Sumerian, which is like two, 3,000 years before. Right, right. Like we found structures, we found them. They're like, they're in Peru. Uh, uh, Pumu Punku or whatever in Peru, all these places, right. like I mean, they can't carbon date the stuff, but they can do, they can do dating now based off of rock and, and certain minerals and stuff, yeah. and, um, and 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 water stains on pla on things if they found it in a high plain that doesn't, it's a desert, right. you know, it's like it's got to be here for a long time since the Ice Age. It's like ten thousand years. They've dated things to ten thousand years and their structures. Right that are built, that look like, I mean, they're cut like, they look like this, or they look like straight edges and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you want to do that? How do, how do we want to do that? How do you want to come up with how they did that? The theory on how they did it. How do you want to do That's it? It's crazy because I- They, I, they don't, it's impossible, man, yeah, like- Because I, um, I have a thing for the pyramids, you know what I'm saying? I always want to know, like, so, how the fuck did they- well, so, so, the, the, that's the question. That's the, like, how did they? Okay, so, so, like, everyone, in, in, uh, any archaeologists or scientists out there, like, please, God, do me a favor. Like, stop trying to grasp on to your credentials and whatever you did by relegating new findings right. to the back seat of your car or something, or, or somewhere where it's, where it's getting coffee stains on it. Like, you, that's the purpose. We're supposed to be learning new stuff. Right, right. So, like, the thing about the pyramids is, like, you learn that there were there were tombs for for the um, 
for the pharaohs, right? Right, right, right. Okay, well, we've never found a body in them. We've never found, a, a, we've never found one in there. We've found sarcophaguses with nothing in them. It's huge. Why would you do that? Right, right. I mean, like, and it has all these different, I mean, there's, there's all these different things on that. But, but, but the other weird thing about that, let's go back to shapes real fast. You know, as far as by my calculation, really, there's, there's about, there should be around four man-made modern pyramid structures in the world. Right. We don't, it's, it's not efficient. It's not practical. We don't build things like that because it's almost impossible. Like the math and then all the materials it takes right, right, right. and then the, 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 the fear of collapse and all kinds. It's just not efficient. That's why we build squares. It's like there's, there's the Louvre in France. There's uh, the Luxor in Vegas. And there's a, there's a couple more here and there. There's one in Dallas, actually. Right. And there's one, I think, in Knoxville. So, like, but they did it and it's like, you, you don't live in it like right. some of these. And some that's of them, modern, that's modern technology. technology. You know yeah. Modeled off after the pyramids right. in Egypt. Right, 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 right. Right, like so. Under so so, I guess the point of this whole thing is, I'm not so sure if it's aliens we need to talk about, but it is about our origins. To me, I think it's a cool way to think about all the things we really don't know. Right. Right. It makes right. it also makes your life a little more mysterious, and a little more fun to right. think like, right. like, right. Right. like if you knew that the pyramids, if we didn't know what the pyramid, if, if you learned in school that we don't know how they built the pyramids, isn't that cool? Maybe you can grow up one day and find yeah, out yeah, and figure it out. I think that's amazing. You it inspires you to, to, to maybe you would have been, I would have probably went after a science based thing had I felt like there was less or more unknown, more unknowns. I, I would have pursued it to figure it out right. it would have interested me like what that's a mystery they try to present all this material to you like it's there's no mystery in it and it's like oh that that makes kids want to pursue science degrees and stuff like that's boring and it's not true is the worst part half of it's not true right. it's crazy and it's like makes you question how many other things are like that i just think um I just think, you know what I'm saying, like you said about the sciences, it's, it's so many people just because they don't know how it was done. And they have a paper out of it. It's, it's yeah. impossible to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they gauge right. what they've done off their expertise, yeah. their knowledge or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just think, I just think it's just an interesting thing, bro, to to, under, to even know, like, damn, like, like there's a lot really out there. They've done it. Like, yeah. they've done it. Like, it's, it's terrible. And, and back to your alien question. So do you? So what, what you saying there? So you think like we are the aliens? So, so I think that there's first off, there's a there's a, an equation. Like I know a lot about this stuff, right. so just bear with me. But uh, there's there's this theoretical equation that's called the Drake equation. Okay. Not Drizzy, but Drake equation. And it's this guy from. I want to say like Caltech or some, some, some technical institute a long time ago in the 70s that came up with, basically he took the size, the parameters of what our known universe, like from edge to edge or whatever it was, how many planets we can visibly see in, the sto in, the, in our solar system. And then he compounded it to, to fit the size of the universe. And then out of those planets, which ones were, would be able to sustain life? And through that equation, he was able to find what is the likelihood that there's intelligent life elsewhere, right? And it's 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 not math. It, right, it's right. more it's more um, applied mathematics, right, whatever. Right, right. But like, you know, it was pretty remarkable then. Okay, well, you know how many um, how many Earth-like planets we found just in the last? Yeah, right, right, I mean, literally, right. it seems like every day because, like, I subscribed to all these nerdy ass like subscription right. things on Facebook. But like, you know, they it seems like every day there's this headline that's like just in, insane. Like, it's not true. Like, I want to send some of them to people, but I'm like, I think this could be fake right. news. Right. 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 <laughs> so right. like, but 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 it's not. It's that science. You, that you don't know though. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so like for, for, so I don't share it all the right, time. Right. I have to, I, I always like to verify it. Right. Like, but, but it's still the ones that are verifiable 
are still incredible. They right. still like blow, blow you out of your yeah. seat, yeah. blow your hair back. And it's like, um, but uh, yeah, so, so, but now, so imagine what that, that equation would look like now, given all the new known variables now, like plugging in the stuff that we didn't know back then when you did it. Like, yeah, we know it's bigger, like it's way bigger than you anticipated. There's way more planets that have water potentially. Right. Like, I mean, who knows how long they've been there? It's like, there's gotta be, and I agree with you that I think that whatever, um, whatever emerges that's intelligent, right. I think it'll resemble something, why would it look any different? Like, why, what would be, I guess maybe because of, you might have bigger eyes or due to like how close you are to the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if it's yeah, coming, yeah. If, it, if, if it's an Earth-like planet, it, it can't be much different it than Mars. Right. So the right. environment would be relatively the same. Right. So yeah, I think that would be the case. But here's where I wanted to like, so there's all these conspiracy theories out there and stuff. It's like, guys, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's not really a conspiracy theory. like. We have, how many videos do we have of footage do we have of alien stuff? Like just starting from Roswell? Yeah, it, it, it's one recently just came out with a pilot. Right. So, yeah, so that one, right? And like, yeah. oh, but so, so there's always, it's almost like, what would it, how about this? What would it take for people to go, oh my God, there's aliens? Like, what would that look like? We, we, have, we, have, we have proof of every single right, right, way. Right. In the court of law, if we were talking about something other than aliens, that's beyond a reasonable doubt. Like, it, it satisfies the scientific method and all that stuff. Like, but we're so, we have an aversion to it, we're so scared of it that I think an alien could land right there and be like, like rock, and we'd be like, oh, look at this, how cool are those effects? Oh my God, guy got a right, suit on. Right, right. Like, and then it would go viral and people would be like, is it real? Is it Fake real? news. Right, 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 it's like, right. dude, like aliens are, aliens probably left already. They're probably like, well, shit, I, we can't I, convince them it's us. I think everything like, yeah. you know, I think everything. But certain like, things are scarier. To an yeah. extent to where people don't mm. know if it's real or fake. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. even anything that happened in the world today from 9-11 to mm -hmm. assassinations. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like every, like yeah. you always have this side to where it's like, Oh man, it's not real. The government did this, and you had that yeah. side like, nah, bro, this really, yeah. this shit really happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was and like it, there, and yeah. it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, the world is always split up mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like what you're saying with the aliens, it's like, damn, that's true. Like, you never would. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think even, it, if yeah. you didn't see it, you wouldn't believe it. Even if you saw it, like, like, yeah, yeah like yeah. the first thing that would happen would be shared on Instagram, yeah. like, hey, I'm with the alien, uh, whatever, like, and the alien would be like, hey, what's happening, I'm an alien, and people would be like, oh my god, his skin's green, like, oh, that's a, oh, it's a, a double exposure or a ball lightning or whatever the fuck, it's like, no, it's not, you know, but, but, but either way, it's like, um, it's just bizarre, and I think what it is, and, and this is where I'm going with this whole thing, is right. like, you're, what you just said is true, but there's certain facts of that that come to that come to fruition during the course of our lives that are so the the prospect of are so scary and so terrifying fundamentally right. that I think that we avert them with our our brains. Like it's like to our brains process that as something like that is a threat. The thought of it threatens your way of life, turn off the idea that it's there. And so the reason I think that is because, I mean, have you ever thought about what would happen if aliens landed over there? If, if, if the fact that they were real is real. Yeah. Nah, I know. Trust me, you wouldn't, want, you wouldn't <laughs> be a rapper anymore, okay? Like, like no, no one would be worried about rap anymore. Right. Everything we do would be diminished by a factor of 100. Everyone would just start offing themselves. It's right. scary. Right. Because, oh, you're a scientist? For what? That guy traveled through time here. Like, nice work, buddy. Yeah. So, so it's scary. Like, it really, I don't want there to be aliens. I, I'm serious. Like, I used to be all, I fucked with the whole idea, right, kind of. Right. Almost like a joke. Like, almost like it was, it was cool. It's like, no, it isn't. 
the only thing that gives us a purpose here is that there is no other higher purpose. Right. Like that's what we seek our whole lives. And it's like an alien comes down and is like, Meh. like we are the gods that created you. Religion, everybody oh, kills themselves right. automatically, you know, or loses faith and stuff. And, and everybody, everybody, everybody's job becomes completely pointless and remedial now. So what you what you think about um about Area Fifty One? Well, I mean, like the thing about what we see in the sky, right? Like you know, you've seen pictures and and what that pilot might have seen. Right. Well, I don't think that that's a lie. Right. Right. Like so, the other thing is is completely uh, uh, slinging mud. And trying to defame or like trying to damage someone's character or something. Right. It's like, dude, they're a commercial pilot for Delta Airlines. They've been doing it their whole lives. They have like over a million hours in the air. Right, right. They're trained observers. They flew in the Air Force. They, they know when they see something that don't look they're, to be. Yeah, like like they're not lying to yeah. you. <laughs> and they have nothing to gain from telling you they have except maybe gainfully unemployed maybe like right, i don't right, know right. like there's no there's no way to there's no way to justify it um so what they're saying is true but what they're but what's driving it i don't know right. russian right i don't know look like some new technology spy ship yeah you just never know you know what i'm saying I, but at the end of the day like like you saying what if it is like i'd prefer to you know what i'm saying yeah like, like what if it is? yeah yeah and, and i mean um, but they do say, so there's a guy named, uh, I think, is, is it Robert Bigelow? Robert, we talked about this? Ro Robert, well, Robert Bigelow is like a, he was a, uh, he's a billionaire that's in the same, same kind of class as Elon Musk, Elon whatever. Musk, right, right. So Elon Musk, when he shifted over from making cars and tech, and tech components and stuff into space, space right? right? Right. Like, uh, there was this big shift because he's an influencer in the, in the global markets, right? Like he moves, everyone follows. And so Robert Bigelow opened up no idea, nothing about, he's not an aerospace guy. He doesn't have degrees. He didn't know anything. He's just a billionaire who you presume didn't become a billionaire being an idiot. Right. Started investing all his money into this new company called Bigelow Aerospace. Bigelow Aerospace is, um, they just, he has like all he he's he's referring to he's done all this research all this classified research and some people that are close to him and close to that research have 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 at least classified the fact that the things that we have right now the technology that our military possesses right now is at least a decade or two ahead of what you think right like so for instance it's very possible that we fly at you know at Mach 10, we can fly like in somewhere in between light right, right, speed right, right, and, right. and sound. I, I, I can see that. Yeah, and I mean, uh, we can maybe invisibility cloaks. I don't know, you name it. We can sit here and do maybe all day, but 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 I mean, the fact is, like, he also has nothing to lie about. Like, you guys asked me, like, I get paid to know. I know what it is. Right, so, right, like, right. I'm just telling you that it exists. Like, whatever, you know. But um. I don't know. It's just interesting, and, and I prefer it that way. That's the other thing bad about this, like, and this is a whole other thing, but it's, it, it's tied in. It's like transparency, though. It's like you do understand that there's a reason why we don't know some things, right? It's because it's, it's not everybody is as smart as you or him or right, me. Right, right. And, like, groups of people do crazy things in groups, okay? I do. Almost every bit of trouble I've been in, in my life, right, has been, almost, right, has been the result of me defending my pack or getting, getting involved, getting tied into some, some squabble because of something yeah. that, that had nothing to do with me, but I got to get in there because I got to get my licks yeah. in too yeah. so I can show that I'm, I'm with you. But, like, um, that's not rational. I'm not the, why am I going to do that? Right. Like if I sat right. back and looked right. at myself doing it, I'd be like, what an idiot. Like nothing, yeah. like I just I ran outside. Nothing, nothing <laughs> I just yeah. ran outside to defensively and like there was nothing going on and just started fighting someone or doing that whatever. Go, that goes on in um, 
like the neighborhoods we grow up in yeah. that goes on every day. Of course. You find yourself in situations you don't have nothing to do with, no business being in. Just around. Just because you there and it's around you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It just pull you in, bro. I mean, you got it because... Because when something like, you know, it's physics, something's like coming at you, you then have to make a play, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So like yeah. the closer you are to those things, the more likely you, you are to. And sometimes, most of the time, you're street cred. In the balance. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right, it's hanging it's on. Like, yeah, so. and, and, that, and that, you know, I think, I think that's one thing that, put, that we found that, that we're pretty close on. Like we bond on it right, in a way is right. like over everything else. Like, there's no consequence. I was never a kid to be like, oh, I mean, they're going to put me in timeout. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, hide stuff and, like, lie about things if I got caught. Like, if I got caught, I've always squared up to it and been, like, fucked up. Like, I, look, that's on me. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not even going to – I might try and explain why, right, but right, really, right. like, I'm not one for excuses. Like, I'm sorry I did it. If I'm sorry, I'll say I'm sorry. I mean that. But all I can do is be better next time. That's do true. whatever, and I'll take yeah. I'll take the consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes for people like Daryl D knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. for yeah. real. You have to make sure you look at him. Daryl D knows what I'm talking about. He you know. On like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you took, you took one for the team. Yeah. Oh man, I got that kid's back any day, yeah. and he knows it, yeah. and he gets mine too. But it's just not always going to be right there, right? Right. right? right so, right, but right. anyway, um, but 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 I take I take my punishment, whatever that is, and then like, but I'm not scared of that. What I am scared of is my is losing my reputation amongst my peers, wherever right. my position is amongst people that I care about. Yeah, it took it took it took a um, it took it take a lifetime to build it. You know, what it I'm does. Saying? Yeah, like it take a. And, and and I think some people get that confused too in the communities also, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the also, you got people who who built these reputation I mean reputations over years, decades of time. It's what and, it's what they and, are, you know yeah. So you get these dudes who come having built shit, having done that, and they think because they got a little money now, you know what I'm saying? Right. They're supposed to have the same credibility that that dude have. Right. That's a big confusion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in, in our communities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it all, because I'm speaking on it because I had the problem before. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and um, it, it, um, and dudes don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? They don't yeah. understand why certain people, a group of people, look at you this way and look at him this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just because. It's of, that added value of it's reputation. It's everything you built, bro. It's yeah. everything you built. It can't be fabricated. It can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like it's every single thing that you yeah. put out. And the, and, the, and the energy and the atmosphere is giving you back. And it's also the one thing that you can't do the easy way. Right, right. No, no, no. You can't, you can't cheat it. Hey, Nick, can you grab that real quick? Sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure, but just tell him to fuck off. Anyways, uh, but yeah, like, so what you were saying, I mean, I, that's what I'm always looking to build with you first right. before anything else. Like, I want to make sure that's why... I, that's why I'm always up here working. I want to show that I work hard, right? right? And like, and that, and that I care about what we're doing and I want to earn it from you, right? Or, or earn it from him or, or, or right, show right, people. Right, right. Um, and so like, cause I know that, cause, cause I don't want people to feel that I'm trying to ever big wheel them based off of whatever, whatever that, whatever that is, you know, wh whether it's because they feel like it's the money that I, I have all this money or something yeah, yeah. or or I mean you know or if it's just because I sit at that desk like when they walk in right right um I, I want to make sure that they know that I'm here like all the time like I work for them yeah. I work for for for, every, for our team right and we all we all make decisions together and we yeah. move together and yeah. and like that's what that is but you got to show it, yeah, it just, and the only way to do what, it is what, do what, it. What you have built, what we have built, yeah. you just can't come off the street and yeah, buy it. You yeah, know what yeah, saying? like you can't get, yeah. get what we get, what we have built, get what we earn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like blood, sweat, and tears really went went into this, and you yeah. can't wait till we get to the top well, and well, come well. in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I'd do anything to be. I know you would. 
I know are you, you would do anything to be part of this now, once we there. Yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. would, but yeah. where are you now? Where, yeah. are we, where were you three years ago? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, yeah, and it's like, you know, some of the people that, and you can tell that because we built really solid relationships with some very, with some, with some very influential people in Dallas based off of nothing other than doing good business yeah. and earning trust and building trust with each other. Like just, it's a, we make sure that anybody we're doing business with feels good about it. Right. And, and, and we, and that it, there's longevity is the play. Like, like we can build an empire together or I can, or I can pay my light bill today yeah. with yeah. whatever I earn or whatever you earn. Right. It's like, stick around, right? stick around, yeah. you know, and like, yeah. and, and, and trying to find the people that are, um, that have that kind of, I guess, have that heart in them. Right. Right. Um, that that sort of motivation in them is, is difficult, but when you find them, it's good to keep them around, you know, like shout out BC Newton, uh, you know, but like, yeah. So, I mean, that's one good example. Um, anyway, but yeah, I don't know how we got there from aliens, but shit, it was natural. It was natural. You you love, you love aliens, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's your, that's like your shit. You think You you always talk about it. I'm always talking about aliens. Ancient, uh, what's the other sh- ancient aliens? Some ancient shit like aliens. That. Yeah. yeah, I live that. I breathe it. You see what I'm saying? I am that. See yeah. What I'm saying? Whatever that is. I am that. So, so it's two, two different ancient aliens and regular. Aliens? So the theory I was t- telling you about that's really more about questioning the right. history of things, like our history, like is a more, is that's ancient alien theory. Okay. That's like the theory that's, I'll give you the book, <laughs> but it's proposed by like. Uh, uh, by uh, Eric Von Doniken. <laughs> and he's like this guy that wrote this book. But he was the first one. So like, remember we were talking about religion the other day. Real, right, real right, quick, last right, one on this. Right. But I forgot because this is the big one of the biggest ones. You know, if you take the Bible and you read any story, right? Just replace angels with extraterrestrial, and see if it reads different. It's pretty scary stuff. Right. Like, they, are, they come out of the sky, they're shiny and bright. A lot of times they're using words that didn't exist in their language back then. So how else would you describe a ship that's fiery or whatever? Right. It's pretty crazy, man. Like That's crazy, man. I, know, it, I, know, it, I, know, I never thought about that. Like, uh, yeah, there's it, a lot of people that out there that never thought like, about it. Like, think about it. Like, I'm not, not, like, not trying to pull you one way or the other. I'm not really religious or anything like that. I'm not trying to, like, fuck with your stuff. But, yeah. but what I'm saying is, like, these are the questions that are so, I mean, if nothing else, just fucking interesting to right, ask. Right, like, right. you know, I feel a lot of people, like a lot of people right now are walking through their lives without really looking right, at and, some and stuff. Pe- and, and people, I'm going to tell you something. What and, a dude told me before, like, yeah. we was talking, it's crazy, we were talking about the Bible before. Yeah. And I was asking them questions about certain stuff, like, what if this, what if that? He told me, something he told me, he said, I never think about it because I never want to even ask the question. That's not a I good way of doing it. Know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and like, like people just are scared to even think about it. Yeah. Because one thing we talk, especially in the black community, your religion is everything. You know what I'm saying? Like it's everything. So yeah. you don't question it. You don't go against it. You don't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and and, and people are, they just scared, bro, to think about what if it is this way. Well, here's one thing, I. I'm firmly rooted. I'll give you one one proof here, right. okay? And this is why I I feel like I I feel liberated and free enough to investigate things like that without without losing right. sleep. Right. Cuz I mean everybody no one wants to think about that, right? Like, yeah. "Oh, what if it is something different?" Yeah. Like, mm, "I lived my life the wrong way." Right. No, no, no. Okay. It, right? Yeah, and so so here's 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 one maybe I don't I want to call it a proof, but here's one way I like to justify that there is something bigger than us, okay? So let's take, let's just chop you up. Let's mince you up, put you in a, in a, in a blender, like Well, it takes a minute. <laughs> let's like blended you up into a nice like liquid, okay? And we, uh, and we put you in a, in a warm enclosure thing and we put you in a, we put all that mess in a closet that was warm for nine months, okay? In nine months, when we opened the door, 
will Seven the Great be standing before us? Will you come, will you, there a little baby be there? You can take all the things that make life, right. mix them down to their basic components, mimic a womb, all the, all the variables that make right. that, put it somewhere for nine months, make sure it's fed or whatever you want to do, you know, buy whatever, just give them whatever you eat. In nine months, you're going to have a smelly mess. It's not going to be a person. Right. <laughs> when whatever happens in that nine months is something that I believe is touched by a higher power. Right. Now, if you want to try to prove it, try to debate it, I'm, uh, please do, but I've thought about it a lot, and there's really no valid argument against it. It's pretty remarkable, and, and a guy, and a guy that um, that I knew back in my childhood told me told me that one time because I was having a, I don't I was questioning him right, just like right, you were, right, right. and this guy he responded to me with that. He said he did think about it, and that was his answer. Right. And so when you when you believe that, when you know that, it's like. Okay, let's think. Okay, that's good. Right. Now let's go have fun with all the cool mysteries here, and let's right. let's wait right. for God later. When, when hopefully a lot later, you know, when we go away. And I I think it's something that you should I'll, I'll always investigate or it's healthy yourself. for your mind. I think you should do this steady. It's the only way to grow. Even what somebody say, you know what I'm saying? Like I think it's a great thing to look yeah. deeper into your religion and try to figure out why is this this way or that you know what i'm saying like well, why not especially when okay so like any information any like any information unless right. like so so for me like just because when i first met you even after like a couple months right. like you know when it came to hip hop de like uh label decisions or or things like that like like I would always come to you regardless right. because your input is clearly uh, from, ha you, ha you have a deeper source right. Right. of information right. at the time and still today than I do. But, but, um, but it wasn't like I didn't go, hmm, okay, let me, let me mm, like think about it. Right. Let, me, let me verify that that's the right thing or, or he's, I don't know if there's not a better play or whatever. Right, right, and right. I know, it, and it most certainly would annoy you. I mean, I'm sure that that was at the bottom of sometimes of us building right, our relationship. Right, right, right. But now you're a trustworthy source and what you say to me, like if I ask a question, I'm like, hey man, like what do you think about this? Like should we, mm? and you go, nah man, like that's just, the, trust me, just yeah, don't do that. Yeah. I'm like, no problem. Like, right, right, I don't right, need to right, investigate, right. but that's because I did it already. Yeah, when you did it already, it took us time. To <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so like, right. like, please think about, I mean, you know, religion's an important thing, right. and it's, but it's not because the Bible's tr all true. Right. It's more about the values it instills in people. Right. And, I, and, and, you know, I think, so I don't think atheism is the right play, because I think that if you're an atheist, you're just as ignorant as people that are religious. Right. It's like it's just the I same call, coin. I would call nobody ignorant. Or I mean, not ignorant, but um, no, naive. Especially, naive. Especially, you know what I'm saying? Believing in something, I feel like everybody should believe in something. You yeah, know what I'm you're right. Like, like not, wrong word. Not whether it's the guy standing in the sky when you, you know what I'm saying? Alien, godhead, yeah, whatever, something. Yeah, but you got, you have to believe in something. You For know sure. What I'm I, I think uh, so too. Yeah, and so like, well, and I guess not, uh, ignorant wasn't the word, but right. but naive most right. certainly, or misguided yeah, because. Yeah. You know, you do need to investigate all the different options right, most definitely. and get a satisfactory answer, and then you can make your play. You can yeah. make your decision. Yeah. Um, it's how we do business, how we we work through things anywhere. Right. So anyway, that's I think that's about it, man. I look like this a wrap, you know. He yeah, he's, yeah, he started playing. Well, don't talk. He's playing. Dude, he's playing on his phone. You, get, nah, you got I, you got I after me earlier. On his phone, it's, he started like twitching. Shit, oh, 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 oh. It's like it's time. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, bro. Say, hey, bro. <laughs> yeah.